Well, it's a little bit of, I, I think about, um, sometimes it's, it's, it's funny, this might sound weird, but I can, sometimes I, I, I meet people and I can talk to them, and that might be one of the key, you know, you know, things that, that, that make me want to play with that artist, just the fact that you may, we might have, might be something, you might really get along, you know, um. This might, I might think this guy is really cool, and then you get on. Usually, people, you, you people, people. Usually, an artist's personality comes through him before he comes through his, his instrument. I can tell how someone is just by talking to them. So I think that's like one of the first things. You know, if I meet someone and we're really cool, that's like you know, okay, now that <laughs> you're you're closer to to being someone I may I may pick. Um, someone that's that really wants to play with me. You know. Um, sometimes I might call someone for a gig and, you know, he might not know my music or he might not be familiar with me or might just might not want to play with me or, you know, I shouldn't say that because that, not, not that that happens, but, you know, there are people that may want to play with you more than <laughs> others, you know, or may feel a connection to you musically. So I think about that a lot and I just think about people that are dedicated, you know, people that are going to make the rehearsals. Um, people that are going to be able to make more than one gig, you know, I think about that a lot now because I try to have something, I'm trying to have a, a consistent group, you know, so if someone can, you know, make all the gigs for a year, which sometimes isn't a lot, if they can make all the gigs for the year, usually my music will develop a lot better than if I'm changing musicians every, every performance. I think it's some somewhere in between, and I think it depends on my writing. If I, you know, I'm I'm starting to write now. My compositions can some actually some of them are a, a lot easier than they have been, but some of them are actually a lot harder. So I think it depends on how I'm writing. You know, I I, I do want things to be a little bit loose. I want things people to feel like they can experiment with my music. So I don't want them to feel like sometimes when it's over rehearsed, people feel like it has to be like this, you know, and we go over things over and over again. And I feel that when I rehearse, um, when I don't rehearse too much, and I re usually after, after I rehearse maybe one, one time or two times and I perform, after the first gig, um, the first gig is always recorded. I try to rec record the first gig of new music so I can hear what that musician is doing and how he's contributing, <coughs> excuse me, to my music. You know, and how that may shape. You know, how, how that may be what I want. It might might not be. You know, I I kind of usually now I'm trying to really be very specific when it comes to who I pick to play in my band. So I pick someone that I think can shape my music without me having to write. You know, write it too much. You know, they know what I want, or I know, you know, that they have what I want the music to to do. Well, I have a new CD coming out uh, March 12th, and you know it's co-produced. Well, not co-produced. It's produced entirely by by me, and so it's my label. And you know, it took it took a long time because I went through a lot of things, personal things in my life in the past couple of years, and, and you know, I lost my father, and just a lot of things, a lot of changes in my life that I wasn't prepared for, and. Um, you know, it slowed down the recording process and it slowed down the artwork and, you know, there were a lot of hurdles with this project. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to get it out because it took a long time. I recorded it in the end of 2011, you know, and I'm just, just now getting it out this year. Um, but it's called The Soundtrack of Things to Come. And basically I wrote a lot of the music before and I, I gave the, the songs titles before a lot of the things happened in my life. So when I went back and, you know, looked at the songs and realized that they all, you know, reflected all these things that had happened in my life after I wrote the songs, it kind of like, you know, it kind of tripped me out a little bit. But it's called The Soundtrack of Things to Come. It comes out on March 12th. And in April, I'm going to Paris. I received a grant from um, Chamber Music America to work with a French artist. So I want to write some compositions, and he's going to write some compositions, and we're going to get together and do
do a performance in uh, Paris, I think April 19th. The name of my album is The Soundtrack of Things to Come, and it features Lawrence Fields on piano, Boris Kozlov on bass, Jonathan Blake on drums. It's a quartet album, so, and myself on uh, alto and soprano saxophone. And uh, it's actually, some of the compositions are, uh, I was commissioned to write for a couple museums in New York, the Brooklyn Museum and the Rubin Museum. So some of the compositions are based on some of the art in the in those museums, and you know some of the other compositions are based off of. I guess uh, it all kind of intermingles because some of the s compositions I wrote for the art ended up having to do directly with you know what I had gone through you know in my life. So it's it's you know it's all it's all original compositions and it's. It's pretty, I think this is probably a more personal album because it deals with, you know, just a lot of emotions, you know, and a lot of thoughts and, you know, yeah, this is definitely a more personal album than my previous two. Um, I want to play with uh, McCoy. Kinda. I want to play with Herbie Hancock. Uh, I've been hanging a lot, hanging out a lot with Lee Konitz, and I, I would like to play some with him too. I actually just I did a long interview with him um, last year. I, I never transcribed it, but we hang from time to time and we talk about things. But I think it would be nice to play with him. I'm trying to think who else would I like to play with? That wow, I haven't thought about that. Jack DeJohnette. Um might be pushing it, but Keith Jarrett, um, Mugu Miller, uh, yeah, I can go on for days, that's, that's a, that's a, you know, <laughs> that's a, now a lot more names are coming to mind, but I'll leave it at that for now. Mm -hmm. 